Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to get into my Project Life album. So I'm gonna walk you through all of my spreads so that you can see how I've been documenting my photos and my words to tell my stories. If you don't know what Project Life is, basically Project Life was started by Becky Higgins a long time ago and it has evolved since she started the project. But what it is, is it's a pocket-based scrapbooking project. So instead of the traditional form of scrapbooking where you'd have a piece of paper, you'd have your photos and your embellishments and you glue in your scissors and you cut everything up and you create traditional layouts. Um, Project Life, it turns that form of scrapbooking into plastic pockets where you would insert a photo, insert a journal card, maybe stick a sticker on there, write down your feelings, your thoughts, your experiences, and call it a spread. So I've been doing Project Life for about four years now, and um, I think I've always pretty much done monthly layouts. I've never gotten into weekly documenting just because I feel like my weeks are so much of the same every single week, so I don't feel the need to be documenting every single week of the year. But I know that Ali Edwards has a bunch of different projects that you can get into, and I think I discussed that a little bit more in the video as I'm showing you my album. So let's just get right into the video. <laughs> If you don't know what Project Life is or if you're new to this scrapbooking realm, Project Life is a pocket-based project solution to scrapbooking. So basically it brings stories and photos together. So the words and the photos that you use to document your life and you just put them in the pockets, you embellish them a bit and you tell your stories and you get that down on paper so that you can reflect on it, look back on it and just document your life and your experiences. So I first discovered Project Life through Amy Gretchen. I was watching her YouTube videos and I'll link it down below if you've never seen them. But basically she was giving tutorials and walkthroughs of her albums and the things that she was creating to put in her albums. And it got me excited about starting this process as well. So this is basically my fourth, about my fourth time doing Project Life for a year. Um, and then there's other projects that go along with the Project Life that have been created by Ali Edwards. But I'll link all those resources down below if you're interested in getting started in the project life. What I'll do is I'll walk through my album so that you can see how I've put together my pages. And I'll try to mention the shops that I've gotten them from. Um, and so that maybe you can check out those shops as well. So I hope that this is a good setup for you. I've never done a project life video before. But basically I'm, I just want to show you kind of how I put my spreads together and what they look like visually. So let's get right into it. So this is my title page and here I have a 2020 card from Kelly Perky and a little chipboard from Allie Edwards that says here we go. And this card is also from Kelly Perky and it says and now we welcome the new year full of things that have never been. And that's a picture of myself and Michael and it says open heart and then I stamped um, from Kelly Perky life right now on vellum and then I put it over just some scrapbook paper. And then for my first spread of the year, I do, I've been doing monthly um, layouts. So basically what I do is I just collect all the pictures that I've taken that year or that month. And then I kind of break it down by which pictures that I want to document. And then I print those out and then I kind of create a spread. So this is a title card that I created myself and you'll see in the other months. But it just says January and I printed it on vellum. And I'll leave these title cards down below um, so that you can download them from the blog. So if you are interested in starting a project life yourself, you can use my monthly title cards. And it's just over a coral journal card from Kelly Perky. And this 2020 Let's Do It card is also from Kelly Perky, but it says, another night, another Timmy's run, new year, same us. No time for New Year's resolutions when dream donuts exist, right? And then it says, new year, same me. This is a picture of my older sister and it says, Be the Joy. And this heart embellishment is from Allie Edwards. And this is a picture of our Tim's run. So basically just the coffee and the donuts and it says, Something I bought today is what the sticker says. And then this is a picture of my dad and my grandmother on her birthday. And this heart embellishment is from Allie Edwards and it says, Living the Length and the Width. And then um, another picture of my grandmother and it says, Make Time For. And then we also went out for Chinese that night. So I took a picture of my fortune and it says, you are both sociable and charming. And this card is from Kelly Perky Shop and this is from Allie Edwards. 
And then uh, my next spread for January was a story that I told about um, family game night. So we kind of had a poker night. So I used um, some embellishments from Ali Edwards. And these three, they say thumbs up, this is what's up, and live it up. And that was from the Up Story Kit, I believe. And it says, the card says, happiness looks like this right now. January 18th, 2020, game night at Zia's and Uncle Chris's house. Um, brought along the poker set Michael gave Dad for Christmas for some good old family fun. Words of the night, check, and all in, baby. And then this says, this story cool and then these cards are from the Ali Edwards Joy Story Kit and so I stamped Weekend, Hello Weekend and that's from Kelly Perky Shop. So my next spread for February, um, again my title card and I put it on vellum over a card from Kelly Perky. That's a picture of Michael and then I said today's goals watch all the films the only thing to do when you're homesick. So basically the first week of February I was homesick for basically the whole week and uh, this is a picture of our breakfast that I made me and Michael one of the days that I was home and he was also home. Um, and it says inside, that's a sticker from Ali Edwards and then it says outside and that's um, also a sticker from Ali Edwards. So this is my next spread. Um, change is hard at, the, at first, messy in the middle and gorgeous at the end. The card is from Ali Edwards. All these cards are actually from Ali Edwards. These two are from the home kit and then this, I think this card and the stickers are from the change kit. Captured, happy hearted, numbers in this home. This is from another family game night at my aunt's house, so I put home away from home. Um, numbers in this home, one game of it's all relative, seven game night attendees, two bowls of popcorn, one post game movie, three cups of coffee, countless laugh, countless plans, countless memories, six missing guests, and three hours of fun. Counting the stuff of life. And then also in February, Michael and I visited the first place that we thought we were going to have our wedding at, our wedding reception. And so we took some pictures of the food that was there, um, and then some four, four stories. Found the Millcroft Inn online and instantly fell in love immediately. I wrote to the event manager and booked us a tour. The tour turned into a family event with everyone coming out to see the place. We had a big lunch in the hotel restaurant, delicious, and open present, thank you Sarah, you spoiled us. And then considering the venue a few days later, we knew it wasn't for us, but the search continues. So then these are, this is a picture of the presents that Sarah gave us, and then actually just a few days later we visited another venue, so we wrote option one, smaller space, romantic scene, and then option two, larger venue, rustic charm. And then I went out for a coffee date with my friend and then this card is from Ali Edwards it says let's connect more and then I wrote girls night with Kelsey so long overdue Kels came to pick me up from home and we went out to Williams to grab a bite and a share dessert we caught up with each other on all the things of life and other things that we might have missed in the two months since seeing each other last grabbed a bottle of wine from the LCBO but it got too late to drink it and now we're on to March so March is when the whole lockdown started so we were I used the Ali Edwards um, home story kit and it says my home I really just did that dwelling place feels like home um, blue ribbon moment so we were going on a lot of walks actually so this is around the lake that we live near um, so it says March and then I created this journal card and it just says coronavirus from Paisley Press and then I wrote highs and lows so spending time at home with the family more time for reading movie nights on a weeknight playing cards after dinner working out at home all the baking new content and at home streaming no traffic when you leave the house Sarah coming with me to work empty and quiet office board games with the family saving money trying new recipes and then for the lows uncertainty long lines everywhere family being laid off, slow internet, fighting for the TV room, masks with glasses, lack of essential products, death on the news, experiencing true awful humanity, being stuck inside, crowded parks and walkways, canceled plans, can't visit family. And then um, for a new week in March, I wrote, I used the uh, Ali Edwards Grow Kit and it says love grows here. And then some pictures of tulips, cards, and then me and Michael we got haircuts in March, this was before the lockdown, the bookcase, um, my Apple Watch, and then another game night. And I wrote, things that we've been growing around here lately, together for one, 
when you're in the middle of a pandemic, you have nowhere to be but together. But that's beside the point because we enjoy it. Whereas before we might have been coming home from work at and school at different times, taking the short while before dinner to ourselves, we are now spending it playing cards or watching TV as a family. Other things we're growing, flowers, the garden, grass, and slowly insane. Cabin fever is real, even in springtime. And then I stamped, love the feeling of being alive. And so totally awesome, and oh yeah. And then for this card, also from Grow Story Kit from Ellie Edwards, um, I wrote, It isn't easy waking up every morning before the sun, but it's worth it. I set the alarm for 5 a.m. every morning. When it rings, I roll out of bed and into my workout gear. Days like today, when my watch congratulates me on hitting a new PR, makes it even better. Love hitting these goals. 510 calories burned in a single run, by the way. So yeah, that's March, and now we'll move on to April. So for April, um, we were again in quarantine, so my title card, and then it says PJs all day, and that's from Ali Edwards' rest kit, and then this is from Ali Edwards' says yes I can, and that was from her One Little Ward chipboards. And then it says, sometimes the most important thing in a whole day is the rest we take between two deep breaths. And then quarantine baking season was real, so I made some lemon bars. And it says, best thing I eat today, homemade lemon bars by Carm. And then a story of growth. Um, April brings new growth in my workout routine. Hello, 5K. I can now run about 20 minutes with a warm-up and cool-down that exceeds 5 kilometers. Way to go. And then it says, take action. My story, and that's a picture of my Apple Watch. And it says, running workout record. And those two are also from Ali Edwards, one little word, chipboard set. And then this says, bro living one day at a time and then it says this story is seriously such a wonderful breath of fresh air and it says i never thought i'd be saying how grateful i am to go to work yes thankful for my job but the actual notion of going into work not so much this quarantine season has made me appreciate the peace i get in my place of work so that says taking a break and that's me my feet at work and uh april is a chipboard from Allie Edwards and then this is some taco salad that I made for myself and Michael when we get to have lunch at home when he's on his day off. And then this is a picture of me and Michael going on a walk and it says love this couldn't stop thinking about and then disconnecting from our technology to reconnect with ourselves is absolutely essential. So it's kind of funny because it was like essential services, essential workers but taking time just to go for a walk um, is also essential and then this is what our cupboard looked like and it was there was some Tim's coffee instant coffee Tim's ground coffee and then like a box of Timmy's donuts I think and then this chipboard says growing grace and then this uh, card says watching and I wrote because it's a tradition Sarah's tradition to watch the Wizard of Oz around Easter we all decided to huddle in the uh, living room to enjoy the show and then this chipboard says deep breaths and this one says making and then um, add it to my wish list and then we made that Delgana coffee from Instagram. And then this is May so my layout kind of changed because uh, this was a different square layout so I put my title card on this side and um, it's just on a journal card from Allie Edwards. But what I did this here was I five pictures from some point in May and I numbered them and then there was a mood stamp kit from Kelly Perky Shop that I have and I numbered them one, two, three, four, five and then um, I, uh, there, she had a journal card that said big mood and for each uh, number she had this journal card that was numbered one to five and I put a stamp from her mood stamp set and um, that corresponded with the picture. For, so for number one there was a stamp that said eating my feelings and it's just a <laughs> huevos rancheros that I made and then number two very confused because it was snowing in May and we had just had like the hottest day ever recorded in Toronto for May and then it snowed so very confused um, number three I baked some, three banana breads and it said uh, warm and fuzzy and then this is a picture of Sarah smiling and she's at my work and it says head to toe happiness and then this is a picture a picture of me and Sarah and it says incredibly proud so those were my big moods of May. And then these are just some journal cards from Allie Edwards. 
that uh, I believe I have the digital set so I might have altered them a bit but um, I printed them at home so this one says around here and says welcome May it's been confusing weather so far weeks where the temperature exceeded 30 degrees Celsius and a few days of snow in between but I couldn't be more excited for this breath of fresh air that you bring and then this chipboard says May joys and it's uh we had a charcuterie night in the beginning of May so I took a picture of the spread that my mom created this is Mother's Day so it says today's goals plan impromptu movie night go to the dollar store for supplies get mom out of the house and set up and so uh, there's a picture of our bar our popcorn and our concession stand and it says pieces of your life bits and pieces from the Ali Edwards pieces story kit and then I created this on the uh, Cricut but basically it's just like a little envelope because I had a lot of extra pictures from this spread which was for my older sister's 30th birthday party so what I did was I created this little envelope and I stuck the extra pictures in there so kind of something like I would create for my December daily but um, I incorporated it into my project life this year because I thought why not so this is just a card from Allie Edwards and I, I believe it was on her calendar that she was giving as a freebie so I cut it up and I turned it into a card and I wrote a little note to my um, older sister and these are some car, uh, some extra photos. So I backed them because I didn't put anything on them. So I backed them with um, scrapbook paper, but it's just uh, some extra pictures. So we set up a photo booth. So there were tons of pictures from that one day. So I put them all in here, but then for the spread, I just put um, a few of my favorite pictures and then some cards from Allie Edwards. And then this card says, we have nothing to lose in a world to see, and I hope there are days you fall in love with being alive. And I believe these both are from the Allie Edwards Adventure Story Kit. And the stickers are from the Joy Kit. So, so celebrate this, delightful, and smile. And then I tried to do something a little bit creative. I had some extra 4x6s for this week of um, May. So I cut them down into 3x3 three three, three squares. So this is a 4 by 6 cut down, and then there's this one, but I left it clear because of this transparency. Picture of my sisters, and then actually a picture of myself. Um, this chipboard says, You Do You, from the Allie Edwards May chipboard set from last year, I believe. And then uh, this card says, Let's Stay Home, repeated from Allie Edwards Home Kit, May Moments. And then things I love about home right now from the Allie Edwards Home Kit as well. And I wrote dining all fresco, enjoying the backyard, weeknight movie nights, quiet in the morning, busy afternoons, watching shows during dinner, and listening to music. And so this is actually a picture of Michael helping me bake. Sarah had a trip to the emergency room. Sarah and Melissa in the backyard. Myself. And then this is them setting up our new outdoor furniture. We made margaritas one night and then also had taco salad outside. And then we're into June. So... Uh, title card with some scrapbook paper behind it. This story, uh, this journal card is from Kelly Perky Shop. And then this, these, ch um, leather bits are from Allie Edwards, June kit from last year. This one says summer, this one says hello sun, and this one says the joys of June. And that's a picture of Sarah. And this is a picture of homemade pasta that Sarah made. Our garden, and we were setting up a herb garden, so I took a picture of that. And then this card is from Kelly Perky. And uh, I just took some notes of some things that were going on that week. So pasta, work from home, garden, blogging, salad, and baking. Documented by Carmelina. And then here we get into another spread from June. And basically it was just a lot of outdoor stuff we were doing that week. So I took a picture of our newly set up backyard. Um, some homemade mosquito repellent that we made. And then this chipboard from Ali Edwards on a card from Kelly Perky. And it says a little splurge today was. So basically that's the backyard project. And I'll link that video. And then this card says joy is a decision. A really brave one about how you are going to respond to life. And then I made another one of these um, envelopes on the Cricut. But then, so this is actually a spread from Sarah's birthday party that we had for her which I'll, we created a video for that, so I'll try to link that as well. 
but uh, I had extra pictures from that day. So this is another card from Allie Edwards. And it says, I hope there are days you fall in love with being alive. I guess she's used that saying a bunch. And um, some extra cards that I backed with scrapbook paper from the birthday party. So I'll leave that linked um, in the cards so that hopefully you guys can check out that video if you're interested in seeing what her birthday party was like. But uh, there's some extra pictures that I really liked. So a picture of Sarah with my aunt, um, a journal card from Kelly Perky, and this one's also from Kelly Perky. And I wrote, Sarah's quarantine birthday bash was celebrated with corn dogs and doing the hand jive, finished with homemade donuts and an outdoor screening of grease. And then this is my last spread for June. So this is as far as I've completed so far. But um, it was basically all outdoors. Backyard's completely finished. Pool is open. We've been having a lot of fun in the backyard. So um, I used the Allie Edwards Breast Story Kit to tell these stories. This is just a picture of my laptop with some cereal that I had in the morning. Um, and I was working from home. And I use a card that was pretty much perfect and it says, my brain has too many tabs open. And then this card says, give it a rest. And I wrote, there's nothing better than the feeling of hitting the water for the first time of the season. This year's came a little later than the past, but this is what rest looks and feels like right now. That it's here. And then this card says, the soul usually knows what to do to heal itself. The challenge is to silence the mind. And then these chipboards are from Allie Edwards. This one says, just chilling out. This one says, need rest. And then this one doesn't say anything. Um, and then this one says, best way to spend the day. And these are also from the Allie Edwards rest story kit. But this is a picture of me and Sarah that we took when we were filming a video. And I wrote, so proud of this girl here. She graduated from her program, goes to work part-time, and even finds the time to work on SNC with me. You go, girl. And then um, just a picture of a smoothie that I made and a picture of Michael. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my Project Life album. If you have any tips for me or any things that you think that you could be doing or I could be doing, I'd love to hear it in the comment section down below. So please feel free to reach out to me down there. You can always check out our blog for more tips and inspirations and other lifestyle hacks. And other than that, hope to see you soon.